off of the capitula. Right. So it distracts them the proximal okay. radial ulnar. <coughs> Yeah, yeah. 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 the gap is occurring at, at that joint, right? So, in a way, joint joint mobilization, joint play is in range if you're taking it to the end. Okay. How's that feel? Feels good. Okay, now if I compress this for you now. Resist? Nope, just. Is there any pain with no. that? Was, would there be a bone before we didn't test? But. No. Can I tap your wrist? Sure. What are you doing? What so that I'm say? loading up that, that joint mm -hmm. a little tap. Stress fracture. Right? Mm -hmm. To see if there's any pain in the joint. Right? Tap test. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lever the joint. Right, so I'm gonna yeah, feels good. Good, bad. Feels good. It doesn't look like you would feel good. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see the capitation. Are you okay? <laughs> you guys hear that? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Is that straight extension? I can't see the end. Yeah. Not full extension. Just unlock the little bit. We got a capitation in that joint. Maybe that's what you needed to happen. Maybe. Can you email us tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like. Let us know. Yeah. I'm curious to know. To call your wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the second call this week. Did you see that? That's a good one. Yeah. So that's a lateral gap, right? Try medial gap. You can see it's rambling up there for my fingers here. How's that one? <laughs> so, according to Camillus, it doesn't matter if it's the convex side of the curve or the concave side of the curve. Get the, the fluid's moving. Would you do your bone bending on it? Yep, radius? we're going to do that next. Uh, we're going to work our way down. Making sure she's okay from that cavitation first. Yeah, you feel like, yeah, like Move it around now, see. What's the time between here? Okay, squeeze. <coughs> okay, let's try resistance. Can we, 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 can Jesse, Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. Can you hold that? <laughs> 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 okay, now I'm just going to do the, the bending of the ball <laughs> ring. Oh, really? I cannot see anything. It's a good thing I'm not seeing anything. It doesn't look good. It's a real thing. It's good on my part. But it actually feels good. It feels good. Yeah, it is not, you know, irritable pain. Yeah, this one's more aggressive. Yeah. Right on the <laughs> right. so, this one was more this one's hitting the spot. Wow. This one is hitting the spot. Yeah, this, this, one's hitting the, this one's hitting the spot. Right? Yeah. I turned, right? Turned <laughs> so now her ulnar bone is being bowed more? The radius is on this side, too. It's being bent, too. Yeah. And the two got to go together. Maybe it's more radial than radial. Yeah. Turn it's over radial. Yeah. Like getting it to the door, is it just triggering your pain? Does it feel like it's good? It feels good or shock? So this is now, you know, like, subdued. But when you do the other one. This is when you hit the spot. Yeah. Hit it as in, like, it feels like you're getting close relief, or hit it as in you're triggering? Both, both, both. Like Ooh, good question. Pain, she said. Which well, generally is a good thing to treat gland, isn't it? To reproduce one's pain and then it gradually taper off as you work through the technique. Uh, if you're doing the same technique, I don't feel it right on the spot. Now it's becoming more general. Okay, we'll go back to this one. Oh, so this is the. Uh, 
Yeah. Less intensity? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's try this one. Same thing. Uh, above the same as the So it's getting less. Yeah, it's getting less. I don't see getting less. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what's the science behind why it's getting less? <laughs> We'll call it the pain that she's feeling right in that spot. But when you hit it, you know, when you kind of, you call it hitting it, but it's, I, I get the response I'm looking for. Right? Are you stabilizing the entire elbow just like with a big old grip? No. So this hand's pretty passive in its yeah. contact? Just giving her some contacts. You're always feeling, but how's that feel now? Fine. Yeah, see, there's a wrist. The elbow, elbow, elbow extension, wrist flexion, and she did, couldn't do that very well before. So the intention in your touch mic, though, when you were breaking the bone, did you have a firmer grip around breaking your elbow? The bone. <laughs> when you were osseo bending, <laughs> when you were osseo bending, did you have more of a like full grip oh, yeah, around the elbow strong. to stabilize? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very strong. So isolating to the long bone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I meant when you're applying the technique. Is this a firmer grip or there and it is? Okay. Are both hands equally firm, Mike? I'd say so, yeah, because you just like. Yeah, are kind of like. No. Just downward force. Bending force. Play around the different angles to see what can work. Yeah, I wouldn't do it on a senior. Like, wait, like 60 plus, 55 plus? Because that's when you get the discount. <laughs> 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 well, that's exactly what well, I'm doing. Well, I'm ruling out. Gentlemen, would you want this done in your, your form? Oh, yeah. I don't need it done, but it's not going to Yeah, so it really depends on the so person. On the person. It really does. Yeah. Well. I, I uh, treat an 89 year old <laughs> lady with yeah. end range on her spine. Also, a good rule-up question to ask is, are you on any medications that have steroids in them? Because some steroids cause the osteoporosis to set into an even younger body, and you could still do damage. That would be a CI if they were on a medication that has yeah. steroids in it, because that can cause brittle bones. Okay. Yeah. Good question. And menopause, right? Well, most women are close to menopause in about 50, so... But now yeah. there's actually a lot of women yeah. been going through it younger, too. Well, menopause doesn't cause osteoporosis until you got to be subject to osteoporosis. Otherwise, every woman's going to get osteoporosis. Mm -hmm. None of us will. Oh, this room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this now, with that, you can probably have a look because she has in trouble with pain on extension, right? I'll show you the the capitate one. Come in here after third metacarpal, you've got the capitate, so just follow that along. That dip that you feel right there is the capitate, right? The capitate is the captain of the wrist. It tells the other carpal bones what to do. So if you're having trouble with extension, trouble with flexion, try the capitate first and reassess. Okay. The adductor uh, pollicis muscle attaches to the ventral surface of the capitate. Right. So as massage therapists, we do a lot of working with their thumb, bridging, trigger points, right, and constantly pulling on that capitate. So what I like to do is do a, a deep kind of stretch on that adductor muscle first. How does that feel? Yes. So I'm going to take that thumb out right from this plane. Now push your thumb into mine. No, without, bend, without bending. Just push, yeah. Good. So you're trying to do this, right? So without firing the gun. Mm -hmm. Okay, push. What nerve goes to the adductor pulses muscle? Radial. No. Oh. Medium. Medium. No. What? No, not what? There's one nerve. There's one nerve left. Yeah, all nerve. All nerve, all nerve right? <laughs> so all the nerve comes down, goes through the tunnel, gets on and it branches off to the adductor. Where the radial does the rest, right? So there's some oh. redundancy there. Oh, yeah. Okay. How come we don't get numbness in our thumb then if we 
No, it's sensory, it's motor. Oh, it's a motor. Right, it's different. Yeah. It's a motor branch to the adductor, to the muscle. Whereas sensory goes to these two and half of this one. Smart these nerves. Okay. So I'm doing a little end range on that um, that nerve, ulnar nerve, and then I come back to the capitate. I do a little traction. So I'm going to pull on the third metacarpal, right, because that's the one that attaches there, and then I just shrug your shoulder a little bit for me, like that. So. And then you should be able to just glide that, that capitate both forward and back, right? So, you, so take that capitate. Can you slide that capitate back and forth? Should be nice and mobile. Okay. So that's the capitate. Scaphoid. Now we can start working the other, the other ones, right? Scaphoid. The trapezium is under the thumb. So I take the thumb, a little traction, and move the trapezium. Now we're working with what nerve? Now you can see the radius. The radial, right? I'm not saying this, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, trapezium and radial styloid process is like what you're kind of like. Uh, if I take the. Here's the styloid process. Yeah. The trapezium is that you, you go like this and then forward. Mm -hmm. So if I pull on the thumb, I should be able to wiggle this trapezium independently of the thumb. Okay. But that's the joint space you're manipulating. Yep. We're just going to go through all the carpals just as a review for you guys and some of the things that you can do for the, for the hand. If you're dealing with this problem, you could be dealing with the wrist problem too, right? Okay, so we've got the scaphoid, trapezium. What's the moon one that comes up there? Lunate. Lunate. So the lunate is one that just reacts to the other ones, right? Lunate often becomes hypermobile and the other restrictions. So moon rises, moon sets. Okay, and I don't see any peeking out, so I think yours is pretty good. Right. Try creature Right here. So that's the trapezial metacarpal joint right here. That should be nice and mobile. So when you do this, it's the one that massage therapists injure because we've got that TFCC in there, the triangular fibrocarlitis complex. Yeah, if we're doing too much, all too much using that pisy form or loading too much with any t hammering and twisting that can damage that joint, right? So be careful, particularly if you're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> you get that hypermobility. <laughs> no, no <laughs> one. <laughs> and a few therapists damage that, that disc and that's a long recovery. Mm -hmm. A lot of it's avascular, mm -hmm. some of it's vascular. If you damage the avascular part, it's permanent damage, mm -hmm. okay? Okay, and then we've got the, the hammate. So if you take the um, Pisi form and come up and across that, you'll hit the hook of the hammate. It also articulates with number uh, four and five metacarpals, right? So come up four and five, put your index finger on the hammate, and you can mobilize. What nerve just goes medial to that hook? All of them. Correct. Is it nice? Right? Through the trapezial, um, that, that transverse ligament that goes across the tunnel of the arm. Okay? What would you say fourth and fifth digit was? Sorry, how many bone? Yep. That's right. If you go like this, like this, the tendon, the flexor carpial nares, comes in and turns into the trapezial hamate ligament. So what nerve would go to that ligament? 
Bummer. Yeah. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> if the nerve goes through the tongue, what do you think it would branch off to that? The nerves to the nerves and the nerves that branch off to all the different tissue. <laughs> Got that fun. Okay. So we've done the capitate already. Next one over. It's trapped in there. I'll give you a hint. It's trapped. It's trapped. It's trapped. It's trapped. It's trapped. It's trapped. Okay. So that's usually one that gets stuck along with the capitate, right? Particularly in massage therapists, we're all jamming up in this direction. And you did the injury when you were in extension. So it only makes sense to go in and address that to see if this is going to help there. Just like treating the foot might help the neck. It feels good. No, I'm not on it yet. <laughs> okay. So come along number four, like this. Until you get a little dip. Okay? Number two. Oh, number two. 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 oh that's two, sorry. Yeah, I can't count. One, two. So it's really what? Okay, and then what you do is just traction that one, the, the second metacarpal, and then mobilize with your index finger on the ventral surface. There. It's, it's a diamond shaped one, so it's a very small little point right there. You don't know you're going to move it until you start pressing it. If you can feel it coming back, you know you're on it. That's a tough one, right? Yes, Yours is kind of stuck in there. Compared to the other yeah, carpals. Which you, carpal is that again? Sorry, I missed what you said. Uh, trapezoid. Trapezoid. Trapezoid, right? yeah, trapezoid. Oh, yeah, diamond. The diamond in the rough, right? It's the one that looks like a diamond. Did you ever play the exercise where you to toss one of the carpal bones and you got to catch it and see what it is? No. So fun. <laughs> That's why you're good at the hand. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that, Peter? Yeah. 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 Which was this? Last <laughs> yeah. Totally. Oh, it's big. It must be the capitate. Oh, it's boat shape. It must be the scaphoid, right? It's got a hook on it. It must be the, the hammer. It's round. It must be the puny form. Yeah, or the trapezium. Which is that saddle joint. And you can just get in with some sort of general traction on that, right? So when you're treating the forearm, you should treat the wrist and hand, right? Makes sense. So we want work on our way down here, right? If you got now, the patient's out now, right? How's that feel? Good. Are we ready for to see if there's any changes? Does it feel any different than when we started ready? everything? Yeah. The wrist. Soothing strokings. Do you wish to shush the patient while you do it?